what's going on everybody josh pocock here and in today's video we are going to be looking at how you can cancel github copilot never use github copilot again you can now use a tool called claude dev and for those of you who have been following this channel for a while you've seen me do other tools like claude dev that you'll see once we get into it but this is a really cool tool i'm really excited about we're going to show you how to set it up and use it to build out applications with ai with claude sonnet 3.5 and you can use it in vs code let's dive right into it all right guys so with claude sonnet or with claude dev you basically have claude sonnet 3.5 artifacts essentially in your vs code it's not a hundred percent where you can like preview the artifacts or whatever i guess you could do that with the um live server uh, extension in vs code but so it's essentially kind of the same but um okay so this is claude dev um i really like it so far it's uh open source here as you can see the source code which i love and it's kind of like an alternative for those of you who've been on this channel for a while or seen some of my other videos you know i've covered tools like continue dev and i really like continue dev in fact i still have both of these tools installed and i'm gonna be te like i use continue dev and i'm gonna continue testing out claude dev um but uh check out some of my other videos on continue dev i definitely would recommend continue dev as well so there's continue dev uh, i'll leave links to everything i talk about in the description down below and uh, what i really like about claude dev well one thing i really like about claude dev i'll get into the other things in just a second but um it's it's specifically made around or for claude 3.5 sonnet and if you have been coding with ai for i don't know maybe a, at least a, a little bit of time you probably will know that as of now the best coder with for ai is claude 3.5 sonnet uh, at least in my experience and pretty much that's the general um you know what people are saying is that claude 3.5 sonnet is the best recording i personally get the best results from it um there are other good models as well as other good open source models we've covered a lot of them but Claude 3.5 sonnet is my go-to when it comes to like if i really need some high quality stuff so yeah anyways that's what is uh one thing that's really good about it now here's the claude dev github um i'm gonna leave a link to that as well as the vs code extension uh link that's uh one reason i really like it as well if you see me do videos on tools like Ader or there's other tools there's cloud engineer whatever the case may be um you know Ader was is is in like the command line or the terminal and what i really liked about continue dev is that it's a vs code extension and the same thing is what i like about claude dev is that it's a vs code extension so autonomous software engineer right in your ida ide capable of creating file creating editing executing commands uh, files and executing commands with your permission every step of the way so it can execute commands with your permission and so it's similar to what like Ader can do um so that's really really cool and um let's see if there's anything else uh inspective this of every cha change claude makes run in the editor uh run cli commands directly in chat so you never have to open terminal yourself plus respond to interactive commands by sending a message presents permission binds approve cli commands before tool you uh use or sending information to api um Claude Dev has access to the following capabilities: execute commands, list to list file files top level, list files recursive, view source code definitions top level, read file, write to file, ask follow up question, and attempt completion. So, like I said, I'll leave all the links in the description down below as well as this. I would definitely read through some of this. You can check out some of the reviews here as well. Um, and yeah, so. What I will, um, so yeah, you can install it in two different ways. Um, I'm going to be showing you the, at least the, yeah, so you could just clone it, um, pull the repo, open the project in VS Code, and then run code Claude-dev, and then install the necessary de dependencies for the extension and web view GUI by using npm run install colon all. And then launch uh launch by pressing f5 to open vs code window for new uh for the extension loaded we're just going to do it the good old-fashioned way and we're just going to go here and click on install to install in vs code you could also just simply 
open up VS Code, which is right here, and just go to extensions and then just search plod dev and boom right here claude dev you can easily just download it and install it okay also too this probably goes without saying but you're gonna want an anthropic uh console.anthropic.com you're gonna want an api key so you can go to that website link in the description down below if you don't already have one i believe they give about five dollars in free credits i don't know if that's a month or just start but whatever um and then you're just gonna go to your api keys get that api key and then when you go back to Claude Dev right here, you would just go over to settings and paste in your API key. And you can see here I did run one command, which is basically asking it to build a recipe sharing application using Next.js and Tailwind and Visual Studio Code, blah, 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 blah. I gave it a little, like maybe two paragraphs of a brief description. What I really like about Claude Dev opposed to Continue Dev. Um, for example, is like I really like continued dev. Don't get me wrong. I, I it allows you to connect with a lot more models, but just a couple things, key differences here. One, I like how this shows how many tokens is being used, as well as the API cost. I find that's really cool. You can export as markdown, API request complete. You can see here. So to accomplish, so yeah, I just asked it a prompt trying to make this simple application in Next.js. So here it's basically just thinking and then says, hey, this is what we're going to do. Claude well, wants to execute this command. I'm going to let it run command. So I could let it run command or reject command. Okay. So now it's basically running npm uh, npx create next app latest res recipe finder TypeScript tailwind eslint. So pretty much doing all the commands for me. So would you like to use source directory? Um, Okay, so I was saying yes, output, so we should start to see, probably in a couple seconds now, we should start to see the uh, Next.js app populate. So here we see, great, we've successfully created a new Next.js project with Tailwind CSS. Now let's create the necessary components and pages for our application. Thank you. We need to create the following. So the homepage, so page.txx, uh, and then... Our recipes route with uh, IDs of the recipes and then page.txs, so recipe detail page, components, headers, search bar, recipe card, recipe get grid, and then add recipe form. Boom. So it's saying it wants to edit our main file. Sure, let's go ahead and allow it. So we can see that it's did that. And now Claude wants to create a new file. Let's just keep allowing it. Approve, approve, approve 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 i'm coding oh yes i'm a coder i'm so smart look at me write this code <laughs> just joking um and now you can see it's making an api request we wrote all this code it took us so long to write it and we're done okay so great we've successfully created a basic structure for our recipe sharing application now let's implement the search functionality and the ability to add new re uh, recipes. So to implement search functionality and add new recipes, we need to create context to manage the global state of our recipes. Update recipe grid component to use context and implement the search functionality. Update search bar component to trigger the search. Update the add recipe form component to add new recipes to the context. So Claude wants to create a new file, approve. So it's creating a recipe content file and then create a new file for recipe finder share it's going to keep allowing it okay so you can see the price going up the cost going up uh claude wants to edit this file sure 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 okay okay so it said it's up, up implemented the search functionality now the ability to add new receipts our recipes let's go ahead and allow that and quite honestly i mean i probably didn't even have to make such a complex app it's not super complex but task completed okay so the recipe sharing application has been successfully built so claude wants to execute this command to install and run sure let's go ahead perfect so i i the one thing i really like is that oh like i hope you guys can't really see but it's basically a button that 
I move my hand right here, it uh, basically shows execute command and all that good stuff. So that's what, one thing I really like about Claude Dev. Um, that you, it just does the executing of the command or the terminals. Like, that's really cool. It's not always 100% perfect, but it's so far pretty good. And let me just go... Okay, so it's launching our development here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so failed to compile. So I'm just going to copy this and paste this into Claude Dev. Okay, so we got another error right here. So I'm just going to paste this into Quad Dev. Okay, here we have our recipe finder. Wow. Okay, so it took maybe a couple of tries, just a few troubleshooting. And of course, as you can see, we didn't actually put any real images here, but we have some dummy data, creamy Italian pasta dish, spicy Indian curry. Um, I would change this color attacks. We got a little form here with the title, description, ingredients. One per line, instructions, one per line, image URL, and add recipe. I'm not going to go ahead and test every bit of functionality of this, but as you can see, it's pretty simple. If I just wanted to test, go ahead, keep testing. I probably would encounter some issues, and I could just simply copy and paste that over into Claude Dev, and we would get our results, right? So, all right, guys, so that's pretty cool. Um, for all you software engineers out there and whatnot, whatnot um, yeah, maybe should you be trembling? I don't know. Uh, Claude Dev isn't yet there to fully replace you. We still need um, devs, obviously. So just uh, fully haven't reached AGI or ASI yet. We still have a bit of time to continue on developing before AI can get into uh, where it can reflect uh, recursively self-improve in an infinite uh, continuously accelerating loop. So we still have a bit of time before that. As of now, we can just leverage AI to improve our coding and projects and whatnot so other than that guys hope you got some value from this definitely check out claude dev uh links for that will be in the description check out continue dev um and yeah and um that's pretty much it guys so if you're new to the channel and you got some value here we upload videos every single day on ai automation business growth marketing sales um you know crm go high level optimization all the like so many different stuff you can see on this channel we have this will be my 401st video on this channel and I'm just approaching 4,000 subscribers. So, um, yeah, it's been a journey. It's been awesome. You know, I appreciate all the new subs and very excited to continue growing this channel and just continue putting out more value for you guys, more content. I got some really, really good stuff planned. Um, so the more, you know, I love seeing the support and all the comments and this and that recommendations. It actually motivates me to continue doing this. Well, I'm going to do it regardless, but it motivates me to go even harder and provide more value for you guys. So other than that, guys, thanks for all the new subscribers and people, you know, joining uh, this, grow, you know, growing channel, growing community. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, uh, Stride community, our free communities down in the description out below our free Facebook group, free Discord channel. We have about 750, 800 members in there right now. You can network with myself as well as like other like-minded entrepreneurs, AI enthusiasts, coders, developers, whatever, all down there. Also, too, guys, check out my book, Client Acquisition Code, in the link in the description down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.